As far as I know, the power should be back on. I see a light in there. Oh yes. That can only mean one thing. Today is the day. We are racing the garage doors and we are going to time it properly for once. This one always finishes first. That reminds me of mine. Nope. <laughs> Not gonna bring her into this. <laughs> All right, here we go. I just, I can't get to that one fast enough. All right, here we go. Boom! Go, 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 go! No, I, I completely missed. God damn it, I missed the button completely. Well, better luck next time. There's always tomorrow. Last video, we set up this board and it's a new shape. Well, I was gonna say it's a new shape from Arbor, but it's not like new to Arbor. It's new to me from Arbor. It's my first time skating this shape. That's what I'm trying to say. In the setup video, I was like very, very pleasantly surprised at how good it felt. I'm not usually the biggest fan of fresh boards because they just feel a little uncomfy, kind of like new shoes. Champagne, that's the right word, champagne problems, right? That's like the saying that people say when like, like a very good problem to have. I'm well aware of my very blessed position to be able to complain about new boards and new shoes. That's a problem I did not have growing up. So, pine needles are falling and we need to blow. Just another day procrastinating ever starting the bump to bar. I will say though, I'm s I did not mean to do that. I don't know why I can't do it, okay? We'll, we'll do it sometime. Setting up all the skate obstacles and all the driveways has done a really good job at like getting me to do some of the chores that I wouldn't normally do. Like leaf blowing. Obviously living around a bunch of pine trees, these pine needles fall very frequently and it, like realistically I should leaf blow the driveways every day or like every couple of days if I care. But knowing me, uh, I wouldn't really get it done unless I need to, to skate. All of that stuff. That's really all from like overnight too. Cause I did this before I skated yesterday. Also the next not very fun job, but something that needs to happen now kind of soon. Cause we're going to get into winter. It's going to start raining and maybe snowing. Got to go through and seal all of these cracks and all of the driveways. And there's a, a, a lot of driveways and B, a lot of cracks. Like water gets into these and that, I mean, there's going to get bigger and bigger and start expanding. And I, people were saying like, I can get it like re like surfaced or something for not like too like not like too big of an expense because someone said like oh just get the whole like all new driveways i was like bro that's absurdly expensive i guess there's like a, a cheaper alternative because i mean i like looking at this bro there's like a couple cracks here right but then you look this way and i mean the whole all of this asphalt is just full of these little cracks they're just slowly absorbing water am i really gonna do all that by hand <laughs> and then there's two more driveways over there Ugh, i don't know <laughs> Wow, it really does make a big difference though. And just like, like, I don't know, to, to me it's like, oh, it's just pine needles, no, it doesn't matter. Like going through and sweeping all that, it, it looks very neat and tidy. I guess I'm turning into an adult. That's, I guess I'm old actually. Damn, that got depressing real quick. All I have on this driveway is the, the green rail. So I'm not too worried about all this, but I guess in the, in the heart, heart, uh, I'm just gonna blow. All right, in case you guys can't really tell, my uh, my words aren't working today, which kind of brings us to the talking point of all the words that I'm gonna say. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my brain today. Okay, so I mean, the the obvious is that my, my content over the past couple months has completely evolved as I've evolved and like matured as a human. It's much different, uh, lower, you know, low production value, just casual vlog daily activity stuff now, right? And the uh, the overarching theme there is like, it's just stuff that I, I wanna film, whether that's like stupid, 30 minute videos of me troubleshooting my irrigation or really cool videos of us building like six skate rails or fingerboard rails. Like it, it's anything and everything in between. I'm not forcing anything on days that I don't feel like filming. I don't film, like I'm not sticking to a schedule. Although oddly enough, I've posted almost 70 days in a row, but like genuinely that's because it's just happened and like I've enjoyed it. And where I'm going with this is a lot of the time when I film skating, I like, I naturally want to talk. Like I enjoy talking, like you guys know, I, I love yapping. 
And a lot of the time, like, we'll, we'll be battling a trick, and then we'll, you know, I'll come sit by the camera and talk for a little bit, then go back to battling, and, like, that's just, it, that's just what flows and happens naturally. And today, I'm sort of experiencing a new feeling where I'm in the mood to film. Like, I'm, I, 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 you know, like I said, some days I'm not, some days I am. I am today. But, like, I don't want to talk <laughs> and I don't know like my brain's just on a slower wavelength today and I've never really had that before like usually it's just I either feel like filming or I don't but today it's like I, I want to film I want to get a video I want to skate I just don't want to I don't want to talk I don't want to YouTube I don't want to vlog normally I would just ow my ass sort of just wanted to like <laughs> I don't know if like a warning is the right word uh but I, I think I'm honestly just gonna like put headphones in and play music and just totally be in my own world, do my own thing, and kind of just like have you guys chillin' for like it might be painfully boring. Then again, it's like I also felt the same way like posting 30 minutes of me digging some trenches for the sprinkler system. Like I thought that was painfully boring, but then like looking back on the video, it was low key like weirdly like engaging and fun to watch. So at this point, my whole YouTube channel is a giant like experiment. I'm I'm just experimenting with what I like, with what I like. It's really all I'm experimenting with. So yeah, this is, we're trying something new. Oh, they're noise canceling. Oh, that's weird, I can't hear myself talk. Okay, I guess where I'm going with this is like maybe grab a snack, grab some popcorn, or just like toss your phone in the background while you go about your day. Sort of just gonna chill. Uh, and like, I'm not gonna not talk to the camera. Like I still, I'm still a yapper at heart. I'm just not really gonna prioritize it if that makes sense. Again, I really just, over explaining. I don't even think like the majority of you would even notice a difference if I didn't say this, but I'm just vocalizing it because that's what I do. So, all that being said, let's see what we're listening to today. I've been on the, damn, I have like the craziest past couple of playlists. Limp Biscuit, Flume, Slipknot, Foo Fighters, and 70s Classic Rock. Those were things that I actively searched because for some reason my brain was like craving that. And then my day list, Cybercore Dreamcore Wednesday afternoon. I don't know what any of those words mean, but we're gonna listen to that apparently. Sit back, relax, or don't watch this video and I'll catch you on the next one, I don't know. Ah, all right, I gotta warm up and everything. I forgot to mention too. I think I'm gonna leave in like a lot of the like a lot of the bullshit too. Normally, even with my with my new style of videos, I'll like cut out a lot of the attempts and just like leave in the the lands. Not for like retention or anything necessarily. Just I don't know, like easier to edit. Like I can just cut out everything and it, except for the land. I think this video is gonna be a little bit more raw and just like I mean I'm, I'm gonna be skating as if I wasn't filming, except I'm filming. <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh God. I'm noticing like what I do a lot of and what I don't do a lot of and I'm trying to work on what I don't do a lot of. As you can tell, I do a lot of feebles. Like, I'm, I'm putting all, you know, content aside and really just setting the camera up wherever I'm skating or whatever I'm skating and just skating it like I would. And I'm noticing that I'm doing a lot of feebles. I don't really know what that means <laughs> or if that's a bad thing. It's just a thing I'm noticing. Oh, okay, there's something new. Cleaning the driveway as I sort of blew everything in here. But I want to touch this. I'm gonna push my comfort zone today. I do I do the same tricks every time I skate this. And today's the day that I'm gonna try to get a couple, like whether it's I wanna do kickflip front board, I don't know if I'll sack up and do it, or at least some more big spin front boards. I'm doing something new today though, mark my words. I fake yollied anything ever. Wish me luck. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Oh, I did it. Yes. 
I'm so sick of sucking at skating stairs. I'm just gonna, okay, you know what? I'm gonna fucking, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna forget all of my knowledge that, that tells me I don't know how to skate stairs. I'm just gonna be a stair skater. Starting right now, I'm just gonna skate them. Ow! God damn it. <laughs> never got this is how come I fall so much harder on stairs at first I thought, I thought it was like a weight thing because I weighed almost 200 pounds and I was used to weighing like 160 and because I put on so much weight I thought like oh that's why I'm falling so much harder is because I'm heavier and like my body's not used to it but now I mean I'm back down I'm 164 165 and like I I skate a tiny four stair like most people skate a 15 stair and I, I like genuinely not even like saying it's like exaggerate or for content or whatever I genuinely don't get it because I'll, I'll go skating with some homies like uh like Jeff Jeff de Cesare, who's like so gnarly at skating stairs he can just like casually kick out or like casually like flick a double a double flip on like a 12 stair and just like land and then walk away or like if he sticks it he just like sticks and rolls and it's, it looks all casual i just i don't like i just don't get it even when i land my tricks i like squat them out as if it's this massive drop but it's this big it's like i gotta like train my body how to take the impact or something it's like it really is bizarre to me dude literally dude literally you see what i mean why i say that I can literally walk up it. That's how small it is. Oh my god. There it is. I'm trying to work up to a backside flip because like in my head, if I can backside flip a force there, maybe I can get into like a kickflip from board or I can commit to it. It is like, it's very narrow, I'll admit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, great. Ah! Can you guys hear it at all? I'm listening to Slipknot. I listen to Slipknot all the time as a kid or like a teenager or whatever. And it's not like necessarily my genre. I wouldn't say I have a genre, like I'll listen to whatever. But like lately, it's just I've been like bringing it back for some reason. I've been really enjoying it. And like, it, you know, it gets me all like, it gets me hyped up. And I, I'm just like chuckling in my head. I'm getting like hyped. Like I used to, I used to like listen to this when I'd skate like huge, like the, the Stanford hubba, like these big obstacles to like get me hyped up and like get me to do it. And now I'm listening to it for, <laughs> for a four stair. It's a three and a half stair, bro. I'm listening to it for a three and a half stair backside flip. No, I'm gonna embrace it. All right. Oh! See, I hit the rail. <laughs> this is straight up gonna be the uh, the craziest analogy that I've ever made, but I 1000% stand by it. I will be the first to admit that, so I've always been into fingerboarding, right? Like for years and years and years. I'm getting like really heavily back into it to the point of like I spent this morning watching some Mike Schneider uh, trick tips and like how to get better at figure like legit like unironically I want to fucking get better at it one of his big pieces of advice were what was to no matter if the board if the boards attached to your fingers or not end up in the position you want to be so like if you're trying to kickflip crook and this is what always happens to me if I don't get the kickflip I don't put my fingers in the crook position so I started just like no matter how far away the board is just like putting my finger as, as if the board was there, just following through with it. And like, sure enough, I started doing some like sick kickflip crooks. I'm applying, <laughs> I'm applying that same logic to skating, where it's like, even if the board's not under me, just have my body, like I can control my body. Instead of like kicking out and like flailing if the board's not where it should be, just land like where the board should be. And like, that's what happened on that one. It was god awful, but I rolled away. So like maybe, maybe I'm bridging the gap between fingerboarding and skateboarding. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Oh, better. Nope. Oh. There it is. I landed one.
That was really scary, I'm not gonna lie. I know, I, I really like preface this whole session by saying I'm not gonna talk, and then here I am talking. That means it's like feeling like I wanna talk. <laughs> what I'm realizing, not even what I'm realizing, I knew this, I'm better, not to sound like cocky at all, but like I'm better at skating than I, than I think I am. I, I guess anyone's better at skating than they think they are, because it really is like majority mental as opposed to it is physical, for sure. It's just a fear barrier that I've like built up over the years from, from lack of repetition. Like I haven't skated stairs, I don't really flip in or out of rails. I used to, I know I have the physical ability. It's just like so foreign and so uncomfortable after not doing it for so long. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm trying to just break that barrier of just trying shit in hopes that it'll come back. And like, well, not even in hopes, like it will happen. I can break that uh, that fear barrier. It's like big spin front board. I can do it on a flat bar. This isn't any different than a flat bar. Like maybe slightly, like physics wise, I don't know. But like, I had there, there's not the fear on the flat bar. Therefore I can do it like nine out of 10 times. Whereas like, there's all the fear on this. So it messes me up. So it's like, I'm, I'm trying to just tell myself, but I can do it. I know I can do it. It's just getting over that that fear wall. Look at that. Oh, let's go, dude. I'm just gonna keep doing these and keep trying it to try to get over that fear. I wanted, I, I, I know, I always knew that I could do it on this. I've never tried it. I've just been too scared. That's feeling really, like that's really cool to like push through that. And I got four in a row, it felt is really sick. Oh, I'm so hyped right now. started out really really close and I'm losing it interesting I don't know what that means either but and it's even more interesting because this is the trick I've done before I broke it. 
God damn it, I broke my board. Oh, did I? I heard it snap. I thought I heard it snap. If you can't see it, it doesn't matter. Right here. You gotta be joking. I can do that now. That's a plus. Sketchy. So far, every other trick, I've forced myself to do more than one. And I'm just gonna force myself to do another one of these. If I ever want to get better, this is what I gotta do. Just do that exact same thing again. Yes! Let's fucking go. One more, three in a row. Oh my god, yes! Oh man. This has been such a cool session for me. I the video is probably a little bit more boring than usual. Maybe not though. Like, I mean, this is just a, a raw skate set. Like, this is fun. Wow, that's pretty crazy that I'm so hyped on those basic tricks. But like, I mean, you guys, if you watch my videos, you know that those are out of my realm. They shouldn't be for where I'm at in my skateboarding career. Like those shouldn't be out of my realm. Really, really stoked on that. Wow, okay. I will say though, I don't want to push too much of a, of a good thing. And I'm, ha I'm having a really good session I don't want to push it and like get hurt or something. Probably going to keep it mellow on Smiley and what do we call this one? Smiley and Smirky or Smiley and Bendy Straw or <laughs> the, the rails. I don't know, man. For some reason, I'm just like, I'm craving the throwbacks. Three doors down. Oh no, what, what, what is it? Is it three doors down? Hold on, I got to hear this song to see if it's the song that I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I haven't heard this song in like 10 years. Oh, why did that pop into my head? All right, we're listening to Three Doors Down now. Oh, oh why is that scarier? Ah! <laughs> I haven't really touched this thing in a minute. It kind of gets neglected now. This side especially because it's uphill. I really do think... Hold on. Uh, pause the music. I really do think that uh, that front board and the front lip were the first two tricks I've ever done going up the A-frame since moving it down here. Which is pretty crazy to think about. It's also not nearly as bad as I thought. It's actually pretty mellow, which is nice. So I was kind of afraid that by moving it down here, I'd only be able to skate it going one direction. But no, so I'm getting tired. I've been tracking my, my workout. We've burnt 700 and 39 calories in an hour and 15 minutes. That's pretty good, I think. I don't even know what a calorie is, bro. Oh. Hey, this, on the other hand, is where I got some progression to do too. Just like flip in tricks, dude. I just never, never like progress that part of my skating for whatever reason over the years. Probably because it's scary and I'm a weenie. That's probably why. Today's the day, bro. Today's progression session. This one's pretty downhill going this way, uphill going this way. Oh! Oh, first try. Oh, I'm almost in it, Primo. Oh, that's scary. Oh, okay. Oh, see, you start going faster, it gets scarier. Oh! fear wall again dude like that's that's what's holding me down in skateboarding if i can just get over the fear and just start trying shit clearly it worked out in my favor oh my god <laughs> i'll take it okay oh okay yes 
just kind of. Two to make it true. Tired. There it is. Woo. That one might have been a little easier if I waxed the wedge, but whatever. All right. I mean, damn. We've all, we've sashed almost every obstacle that we have, besides the green bean over here. I don't know why I called it that. This one's sick, but this one's like downhill, downhill. Like you get going fast. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm gonna burn all my calories for the day. Just walking back up. Oh, that's so scary. The song that used to always hype me up was Three Six Mafia, Half on a Sack. That was my 17, no, I was like, I was probably 16, because I just got my license. 16, 17 years old, that's all I would listen to if I was trying to do some gnarly trick. That's what we need, baby. Oh my God, that's terrifying. No, 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 no. Ooh. Success. Oh, dude, that was sick. That was like sort of the definition of what I love about skateboarding. Where like I don't want to say I was in like a weird mood or like a funk or anything, but like beginning of the session, again, like I wanted to film and I wanted to create a video, but I just wasn't like feeling like talking or I, I don't know, like just weird shit goes on inside my head. But I just had such a sick session and like you guys probably saw and I'll probably notice it while editing too. Like as the session went on, like I started having fun again talking and like wanting to film and, and not wanting to like talk and I think that's I mean that's what I'm basing my whole channel off of now is just like authenticity and like not doing what I don't want and only doing what I do want which like saying that out loud sounds kind of sounds kind of selfish but like I think we're all on the same page here of like that's <laughs> that's healthy that was fun I, I'm really glad that I did that and I'm glad that I learned some new tricks I'm feeling good and look at that can you guys see we passed a thousand calories which is my daily goal for 75 hard, drink a gallon of water every day, uh, read 10 pages of a non-fictional, non-fiction educational book. I've read like four books, which is cool. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm on uh, Atomic Habits right now. I read, uh, I, at the end of 75 hard, I'll do like an overview of everything. Maintain a diet. I'm doing my, uh, no, I'm not at a calorie deficit anymore because I'm at my goal weight. I've just been maintaining my calories for 75 days. What was the other one? Take a progress picture. Uh, if, you, if you don't know what 75 hard is, you can Google it. But yeah, I mean, dude, we have what seven seven days left of 75 hard. I'm on day 68, which is pretty. That went fast, man. I feel great actually. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me, watching my videos, and kind of going through this whole change on my YouTube channel with me because it's a big old change. I know a lot of you have been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it, and just want to thank you to all my channel members, all my just viewers, like everybody. I'm feeling thankful, man. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next video. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I'm going somewhere. Uh, tomorrow, actually. I'm going on a trip. Should I tell you where or no? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to, th we're, uh, Taylor's coming too. We're going to three different states. All, eh, you know what? I'll, I'll leave it at that. We're going to three different states. We're going to be gone for a week, filming everything. I think the content's going to be really fun over the next week too. So I'm taking you guys along with me. Thank you all. Catch you next video. Peace out.